Now we will see biology of standard cell when topic 1 nutrition in plants. Now in this topic there are 5 units. The first unit is introduction to nutrition in plants. Second is photosynthesis. Third is did you know. And fourth is nutrition being replenished in the soil. And last is other modes of nutrition. First we will start for looking at introduction to nutrition in plants. Now being Starting with new introduction to nutrition in plants, first you must have to know what are plants. Plants are those things which grow in the soil. Because of the soil, soil gives some nutrition to that plants. And when the plant takes some nutrition at that time, plants make some process called a photosynthesis to prepare its own food. In, the, in some process containing some chemicals. Now because of that, it gets the name as photosynthesis because of that first we will see introduction to nutrition in plants and then we will see about photosynthesis now what is meant by nutrition in plants nutrition in plants means nutrition that are taken inside the plant and to make some food and because of that we get the food from the plants if there were no plants no no oxygen will be there why because because when the plants take photosynthesis, take the process of photosynthesis to make food, they take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Because of that oxygen level which is in the in our earth atmosphere being highest which is 21%. Nitrogen is remaining percent and remaining 1% there are other gases. Now in this nutrition in plants we will see that when if we take one plant over here, if we take one plant over here and then if we give water to that plant, then what happened? What? The soil which is there will rich in water. Because of that, plants will not take a lot of water but accurate water as much as plant want. That that time it will take water. Because of that, soil is only the main part over here and plant also why plant takes in nutrition from the soil that means soil is the main part over here now over here we can see that some plants are growing inside the sea oceans and another first we will see the plants inside the ocean now how do the plants inside the oceans make their own food because of that they take air from the water it contains of hydrogen also why because the molecular formula of water is H2O. Here are two atoms of hydrogen over here making one molecule of hydrogen over here. Because of that it takes the process of photosynthesis. But there are some more plants which are going on this aquatic life or in the upper which is this land or the terrestrial plants. Because of that what do the plants do? They that plants take the nutrition which are going to make the another plants that are going for example if i take this plant over here this plant consists of one this layer over here that layer is called as the cuscuta because of the cuscuta it takes as much as nutrition that plants is making because of that the remaining part of the plant is called as host because of that like this kinds of plants take the nutrition from the another plant and there are some non vegetarian plants also that plants are called as insectivorous plants. Because of the in insectivorous plants, what do the plants do? If for the best example for insectivorous plants is the Venus flytrap and the pitcher plant. Then how does the Venus flytrap takes the insectivorous or any insect inside it and eat that instead? Because of that, Venus flytrap has some wings like creature like this. Because of that, when the insects sit on the wings, it traps up and the digestive juices acts on this insect and the finally the insect get digested. Venus flytrap also contains the same thing. It contains a pitcher like pitcher like creature when the insects is it gets slipped into the pitcher and then plants will take in nutrition. Now why this happen? Why do the plants are green but why do they don't make their own food? That we will see in the topic number 5 which is other modes of nutrition. In this topic in this video we will see about introduction to nutrition in plants also now there are some plants which are growing under the ocean aquatic plants the best example is the african plant african plant which is going growing inside the water and you can see some this pointy thing over there that pointy thing are called as polyps some people may think that those plants 
are some like plants also but some may think that they are animals but in reality they are plants by why because they contains roots and another parts of the plants also and they contain small animal like creature on them called as polyps now here our first topic of introduction to nutrition in plants get completed